Yes. Yes, I might drive my car to the barn when it's super duper cold. It's actually not that cold. It's 27 degrees, but it's windy. And I'm gonna try something new today. So this is where Fred and Linda live during the day. They go in the barn at night. And if you've watched my previous videos, Chuck, my old head horse that needs to put weight on, goes absolutely cray cray bonkers in the stall. And he isn't even eating his hay cubes. I soak them and I make them super great for him. He will not eat them. So I'm gonna try putting him in here tonight and see if that helps. Because as you can see, they can touch noses here. So he'll have those friends there. This way he's not confined in a stall. It's just a smaller pen. So we'll see. So let's go get the girls in tucked in for the night and see how Chuck does. So this is what I feed at night. These are just hay cubes. They come in this huge tote. I think it's like a 1,000 pound tote when I get it. It's pretty much gone. I have to dig in there. But Linda and Fred come in for the night. They get theirs dry. Um, Norm and Ling, they stay out in the pasture. They get theirs dry. And then trucks, trucks have been soaked. So he gets, he gets soaked cubes with also um, flax. Flax goes on top. We fill, fill up water buckets. Super thankful I have the water right next to the stalls so we don't have to carry it far. And then I fill hay bags with, this is a second crop grass alfalfa mix. Ready for supper. Linda, are you ready? Are you ready for supper? Oh, who's up there saying they're ready? Oops, I lost it. There it is. This is my wintertime halter. Who am I kidding? It's my all the time halter. <laughs> I'm lazy. And Fred usually just follows us. Here we go. And I just started adding this, so I just take a handful, and they seem to eat it just fine. It's um, cold milled flax, so I don't know results on how that works yet. I do know the cubes make them look great, but this is new for me. Make sure my camera is blue, and then I can watch everybody, and they're all tucked in for the night. Now it's Chuck's turn. Goodness gracious, be nice over there. I'm just gonna kinda, I don't mix up the um, flax too much, just enough that it's kinda sticking to the cubes in case he blows it around. And now we're gonna try having him out here. Let's see how it goes. Chuck, Chuck, the truck. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. One hand, sorry. Sorry for the little for a second, folks. Wow! Whoa! Almost lost it there. But I'm doing it, I'm one handed. Okay. Hey, Chucky. There you go, dude. Please eat today. Please eat today. Of course, why would he eat? That's just another Zesterlick tub. The same one you have in your... and Norm are out here for the night by themselves. They also get to split. Thank you. Which they love so much. 
You know where to go, don't ya? They have their little spot in snow here. Half out here, half out there. Bon appetit! Did you start eating your food? Stay tuned for uh, tomorrow morning. We'll see if he ate.